Imagine an island where a single storm powers the entire country for three hours. This isn't a fantasy. It's Ireland, a land with one of the most promising wind energy potentials in the world. But harnessing wind power isn't as simple as it sounds. While Ireland is reaping the benefits of its natural resources, it faces immense challenges in integrating wind energy into its national grid. If you've ever wondered how wind energy works and why it's so complicated, you're about to find out. Today, we'll explore how Ireland is navigating these hurdles and what's at stake for the future of renewable energy. Wind Power in Ireland Ireland is a wind energy paradise, sitting on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean where powerful, consistent winds blow almost year-round. This makes it one of the best places in the world to harness wind power. During storms, wind energy can actually power the entire country, as happened during a particularly intense storm that kept the lights on for three hours. But this natural advantage is a double-edged sword. While the wind blows strong and steady, using that energy efficiently and consistently is another story. Ireland's energy grid faces unique challenges due to its geographical isolation. The country is small, with limited interconnections to other national grids, making it harder to manage fluctuations in wind energy. When the wind picks up, Ireland can generate excess power, but if demand doesn't match the supply, it risks wasting that energy. On the other hand, when the wind drops, the country needs to rely on backup sources like natural gas to meet energy demands. This balancing act requires constant attention, and as Ireland ramps up its wind energy capacity, the challenges of maintaining grid stability only grow. In this section, we'll dive into why wind power is a potential game changer for Ireland and what the country is doing to leverage this resource. How turbines work. To understand the challenges of wind energy, we first need to take a closer look at the turbines themselves. Wind turbines are intricate machines designed to convert the wind's kinetic energy into usable electricity. However, it's not as simple as just spinning a blade. These turbines operate through a complex system of gears and generators. At the core of the turbine is the rotor, the large blades that spin in the wind. These blades rotate at relatively low speeds, about 10 to 20 times per minute. To generate electricity, however, the generator inside the turbine needs to spin much faster, around 1,800 times per minute. This is where the gearbox comes into play. It connects the low-speed rotor shaft to the high-speed generator shaft, converting the slow rotations into the high-speed revolutions needed for electricity generation. The gearbox is made up of multiple stages of planetary and helical gears, designed to multiply the speed. However, these gearboxes are heavy, up to 15 tons, and prone to wear and tear. The problem lies in the constant high torque, which can cause cracks and damage over time, especially when turbines are exposed to extreme conditions like salty offshore winds. Despite being designed for a 20-year lifespan, Many turbines require gearbox replacements or repairs much sooner, sometimes within seven years. Replacing a gearbox isn't a simple task either. These turbines are often placed on tall towers, sometimes over 50 meters high, making maintenance extremely costly and logistically challenging. In this section, we'll see how these engineering marvels are both the solution and the problem in the quest for renewable energy. Direct Drive Systems While gearboxes are a critical component of wind turbines, they also introduce significant maintenance costs and reliability issues. To address these problems, engineers have explored an alternative, direct drive systems. These systems eliminate the need for a gearbox by directly connecting the rotor to the generator. In a direct drive turbine, the generator's rotor is much larger in diameter and it contains many more magnetic poles than conventional systems. This design allows the generator to produce the necessary high-speed rotations without the need for gears. One of the largest turbines in the world, the Haliade X, 
utilizes this technology with a massive 10-meter wide rotor and 200 magnetic poles. However, direct drive systems come with their own set of challenges. The primary issue is the reliance on rare earth metals like neodymium and dysprosium, which are used in the magnets of these generators. Unfortunately, China controls about 90% of the global supply of these materials, leading to fluctuating prices and supply risks. This can make the production of direct drive turbines both expensive and unpredictable. Despite these hurdles, direct drive systems are becoming more attractive as turbines grow larger and more powerful. They eliminate the complex gearbox system, reducing maintenance costs, and hold the promise of a more reliable future for wind energy. However, whether they can fully replace traditional gearboxes remains to be seen. Grid Stability Integrating wind power into a national grid is no easy feat, especially when it comes to grid stability. Wind energy is unpredictable. Wind speeds fluctuate throughout the day, making it challenging to generate a constant, stable supply of electricity. When the wind blows strongly, it can create an excess of energy. But when the wind dies down, there is a gap that needs to be filled. If the energy supply doesn't match the demand, it can cause dangerous fluctuations in the grid frequency. Grid frequency is incredibly sensitive. In the UK, for example, grid operators had to monitor TV ads carefully because they knew that millions of people would turn on their kettles during commercial breaks. This sudden surge in demand could cause a dip in the grid's frequency, which requires immediate adjustment to avoid power failures. This is where wind energy becomes a challenge because wind turbines are non-synchronous, meaning their rotation speed depends on wind conditions. Their output frequency doesn't match the grid's needs. If the wind speed changes, so does the frequency of the power being generated. This mismatch can destabilize the grid unless sophisticated equipment, like inverters, is used to convert the variable frequency into the standard 60 Hz required by the grid. However, the conversion process is not perfect. It results in power loss and reduces the overall efficiency of wind energy. As wind power continues to grow, maintaining a stable grid will become increasingly difficult, requiring not only advanced technology, but also strategic planning to manage this variability. Storage and Export Challenges One of the biggest hurdles Ireland faces in scaling up wind energy is effectively storing and exporting surplus power. Wind energy, while abundant, is not always consistent. During periods of strong wind, Ireland can generate more electricity than it needs, but without sufficient storage, much of that energy is wasted. On the other hand, when the wind drops, the country must rely on backup power sources, such as natural gas, to meet demand. Currently, Ireland's energy storage capacity is limited, making it difficult to store large amounts of excess energy. The country is looking into various storage solutions, such as pumped hydro storage and large-scale battery systems. But these technologies come with high costs and complex logistical challenges. Another key challenge is exporting surplus energy to neighboring countries. While Ireland has two interconnections with Great Britain, it lacks significant connections to mainland Europe limiting its ability to trade energy. A new 700 megawatt interconnection with France is being developed, which could help stabilize Ireland's energy grid by allowing the export of surplus wind power when it's not needed domestically. To fully harness its wind energy potential, Ireland needs to develop a robust energy storage infrastructure and expand its interconnections. This would allow the country to store energy during periods of abundance and export it when demand is low, ultimately making the grid more flexible and efficient. Ireland's energy future Ireland's energy future looks promising, with the country positioning itself to be a leader in renewable energy, particularly through its vast wind resources. With its strategic location and abundant winds, Ireland is uniquely suited to harness wind power. However, scaling up wind energy requires tackling complex issues, such as grid stability, 
energy storage, and export. One of the key components of Ireland's renewable energy strategy is the development of a hydrogen economy. Excess wind energy can be used to produce green hydrogen through electrolysis, converting water into hydrogen using electricity from wind turbines. This provides a solution to long-term energy storage and offers the potential for energy export. By 2050, Ireland aims to become Europe's leading producer of green hydrogen, positioning itself as a major player in the global renewable energy market. Additionally, Ireland is working on expanding its offshore wind farms, which will significantly increase its wind power generation capacity. This expansion will require significant investment in infrastructure, including grid enhancements and interconnections with neighboring countries to handle surplus energy. With the National Hydrogen Plan, Ireland is on track to meet its net zero emissions targets by 2050. The country's energy future depends on leveraging its natural resources, advancing clean energy technologies, and developing sustainable solutions for energy storage and export, ultimately creating a more resilient and self-sufficient energy system. Ireland's wind energy potential is vast, but it faces challenges in grid stability and energy storage. By focusing on innovations like direct drive turbines and green hydrogen, the country is positioning itself for a sustainable future. Ireland's approach could serve as a model for others aiming to harness renewable energy effectively.